Stable coins are the fastest growing digital asset. They've attracted interest and investment from the likes of Visa and PayPal. And they've been called the next frontier in cross-border payments by industry analysts. So what's all the fuss about and how are fintechs using them? Hi, I'm Karthik, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the use cases of stablecoins for fintechs. Stablecoins, for example, USDC and USDT, are digital currencies, but unlike others, their value is pegged to a fiat currency like the US dollar. They're less than a decade old, but $11 trillion of stablecoins were settled on blockchain just in 2022. The influence of stablecoins on the global money movement is clearly growing. Today, they account for nearly 70% of transactions on the blockchain, eclipsing more established digital currencies like Bitcoin. But you may ask, how can they be used by fintechs? Firstly, stablecoins make a great high-speed rail for cross-border payments, which is why many fintechs use them as an alternative to the SWIFT banking system. For example, rather than sending money from Asia to Europe using SWIFT, you can do it on the same day and likely for lower fees by converting the Asian currency into stablecoins and those stablecoins into euros. Secondly, because they're efficient, stablecoins are now used to settle business payments. As a B2B fintech, giving your merchants access to stablecoins means they can accept and send payments in new markets where other options might be slow or expensive, or choose to hold funds in stablecoins to reduce their exposure to currency risk. So effectively doing this helps you become a one-stop shop for your merchant's payment needs. While navigating regulation and compliance can be complex, there are now simpler ways to deliver stablecoin services in partnership with licensed providers. That means you can offer these services in your own platform using a proven API layer and without taking on the technical or compliance overheads or compromising on the customer experience. So to sum up, Offering stablecoins as a payment option could be a great strategy for fintechs who want to improve their operational efficiency, make their products stickier, and meet the evolving needs of their merchants. That's it from me. I hope that was useful. For more insights on stablecoins, visit bvnk.com/blog. Thanks for watching.